Hi there Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 18th of July. This week begins with a continuum of the angle forged last week between the Sun and Mars. Those people that you connect to that share interests or that spur you on or support the same sports team or where you can do something collectively but yet forge individual links that are very enriching, well those are still very much to the fore. But of course, ever since mid-May, your ruler Saturn has been under a degree of duress, in a right angle with the draining influence of Neptune. This has served to potentially distort some conversations or ideas, or give you a sense of insecurity around certain ties. But the great news at Capricorn is that this week your ruler Saturn is forging a terrific angle with both Venus and Mercury which continue to combine in the deepest most passionate part of your horoscope. I think what this combination is going to teach you is just who you can really rely on at a very very deep level and that in itself is going to be hugely reassuring. It's possible this could be in a romantic context Perhaps someone's going to let you know, even if it is initially through friendship, that they hold you in much greater esteem than you've appreciated up until now. But then again, something that you've been doing on the back burner, behind the scenes, as far as marshalling your financial resources, and it could be around business planning, well that can also start to come to the boil nicely. But the full moon in your sign on Tuesday does make you think very carefully about relationships. And that's really been the lesson of the last three or four weeks, as there was that stellium of planets in the sign of Cancer. This is going to be a moment when you start to decide who is really there for you, and who is perhaps less of a sincere influence. And once the Sun moves on Friday into the sign of Leo to join up with Mercury and Venus, you are reaching that point of the year when it's a decision time around some strands of your life, which could go through a period of ends and beginnings. But nothing or no one's going to leave your world who's not truly right for you. And I think what the transit of the Sun to join with Venus and Mercury tells you, and the angle of Saturn, is that the enriching relationships can only get deeper and more positive. So this process can be something that can really lift you up. But if you are someone who enjoys business or enjoys working around property schemes, the things that you do now, even if they aren't necessarily going to bear fruit in the here and now, can actually be very, very positive in the long term because you're thinking much more about how you're legislating for your future. It's not just about consumption in this very moment. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.